Welcome pilots to today's lesson where we're going to discuss how to ripple JDAMs on targets of opportunity while flying the F-18 Hornet inside of DCS World. Now picture this, have you ever been flying over a target area and one of your wingmen were shot down or shot at by a surface to air missile, shore rad or man pad, but you did not know how to slew the sensors over to that location? This can be challenging in an abrupt procedure, especially if you were caught off guard. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> but fear not. With some practice, this can become second nature, and you can become the hunter instead of the hunted. If this sounds like something you're interested in, then stick around, and you can also check out my other video on the A-10, where we also use the helmet-mounted display to slew the sensors over and take out targets. I have attached the mission for you to download so you can follow along if you wish. All that's required is the F-18 and the Sinai map. Today we're going to show you my favorite way of placing weapons on targets of opportunity while using the targeting pod in conjunction with the helmet mounted display. In our first example, we will use the helmet mounted display to find and make a target designation and slew the targeting pod over to our targets and ripple four JDAMs. In our second example, we will use the velocity vector slave function of the AFLIR targeting pod and ripple eight JDAMs onto eight separate targets. This example would be perfect for those who are flying on a server that don't allow helmet mounted displays or for earlier time periods. All right, enough chit chat. Let's get into the mission and show you how it's done. All right, welcome to the F-18 Hornet over the Sinai map. Currently we're over the target area. One of our friendly F-18s is getting fired at by shore ad systems right now. But how do we get the sensors in the targeting pod to look over there? Well, we're going to go over the first example with the HMD right now. So first, we go into air to ground mode. Make sure our HMD is on and hit sensor select forward. And you can see in the vertical velocity, we have a little dot there. And if we look out to the side in our helmet mounted display, we have a reticle. Now all we need to do is put this reticle over the target and hit TDCD press. There we go. And it has created a target waypoint for us right here. And if we actually go into the FLIR right now, you can see our targeting pod is looking at that location. We will do sensor select right and sensor select right again to go into scene mode. And that is our shore ad right there. So we'll zoom in on him, click on FLIR, and then come down here and make a mark point just so we remember where this target location is just in case we lose that target location we can come back to that and use that information so next we need to go into the j82 or jdams and set these up in the first example we're going to be doing four jdams as a ripple attack it's fairly simple all we have to do is click j82 we need to make sure we go to too mode on every single location here zoom in here just a little bit so you can see so i click too step T-O-O, step, T-O-O, step, T-O-O. Click on E-Fuse Instant. And now we need to go to JDM Display, Release Type, Manual, and click on Mission. And what we're gonna do here is select four targets and put them in as T-O-O-1 and ripple those bad boys off. So let's demonstrate how we, how we do that real quick. Taking a look at where the location is. Let me come a little bit left here. And that should work out perfectly right here. Let's level off. And we'll turn on the autopilot. So we have the autopilot on. J82 is selected. It takes about three minutes for those bad boys to warm up. We are looking at the target location. Let's go into the targeting pod now. We are all the way zoomed in now. And that is our first location. Our first target is going to be a Estrella. Let's go ahead and hit TDC Depress. So when we do that, if we come over to the JDAM mission display, you can see we have coordinates down. Now if we click step, it goes to the next station. So we're on station eight now. Now we need to give this one coordinates. So we'll come over here, aim at the base of the target, TDC press. There's our coordinates for station eight. Step, now we're on station two. We need to do the same thing. Base of the target, TDC press. There's the waypoints. Step one more time for station seven. The last target, TTCD press. And there we go. Now we have all of our target location in there for four JDAMs on four stations. So next, we need to click on return. 
and go to quantity. Now we want to make sure we hit all four stations, so station two, three, seven, and eight. Return, and right now, when we roll in and we hit the weapon release button right here, it will drop all four JDMs on those four targets that we just did. So let's go ahead and roll in. That's the mass caution for the autopilot. Turning into the location. Let's go ahead and climb above 15,000 feet. So we are safe from man pads or that Strela there, just in case. We'll be dropping these way out of range. Let's climb above 15,000. There we go. We're currently 10 miles from the target. Excellent. We'll turn on the barometric altitude hold right now. Again, master arm is armed, air to ground mode. J82 is selected. We selected all four stations. And we are almost in zone right now. All right, we are in zone right now. So if I hold the pickle button or the weapon release button, all four JDMs are going to come off and then we can pull off the target and we should have four good splashes. So here we go. Holding the button. There goes four bombs. Come off to the left. There they are right there. Getting ourselves away from the target area. We don't want to go near that. We don't want to end up like that one F-18 that just got shot down. Okay, welcome back to the F-18 Hornet on the Sinai map. We're doing this example without the helmet-mounted display. So you see right there, we have a shore red that just shot down one of our friendly F-18s. And we're turning off the helmet-mounted display. Just as an example, if you're flying on a server that has a weapon restriction or any type of uh, restriction for helmet-mounted displays, or if there's like a time period that you're uh, doing a mission or a scenario on. So we're going to go into air-to-ground mode again. Click JD2 to get these warming up. Again, it takes about three minutes for the JDAMs. And this time we're going to be doing eight different JDAMs. And we're going to be using the at FLIR this time. So let's go ahead and set up the bombs here. It's a TOO for all four stations. That's usually the number one thing people forget is going to TOO. So we always, always want to do that first. Click on E-Fuse Instant. Those bombs are ready to go. We just need to get the coordinates over to them. So again, the target area is down here by this large smoke. And let's bring up the FLIR on the right uh, DDI. Let's go ahead and turn in on the target area. And we're going to be using the vertical velocity mode. Vertical velocity slave mode, that is. And whatever the aircraft with vertical velocity is looking at is where the targeting pod's going to be looking at. So if we just put our nose onto the targets and hit TDC depress, we'll have a rough location of where these targets are. So let's go ahead and roll in where we think these targets are. They were left of that large smoke. We'll put our nose on it. We don't want to go too close here because there is a Strela down there. We are looking for these targets, and I see them right now. We're zooming in. Nose is on them. Vertical velocity is on it. Let's hit TDC depress with sensor select right as our soy for our right DDI. And boom. All right, we can come off now. I'm going to save this location. Mark point. I like to make a lot of mark points just in case I lose that location. You have no idea how many times I've lost a location. All right. No missiles were fired at us. That's good. And we're going to be setting up for eight JDAMs. And the procedure is just a little bit different here. But don't you worry. We're going to get you there. All right. Just get a little bit of distance here. And we should be able to start seeing the target location now. 
We'll come off to the left here to get out with this cloud here. Still climbing up. We're just in mill power right now. All right. That should work out perfectly. We'll put on ATT attitude hold. Again, we have our location on the targeting pod. And we have the TOO and E fuse set up on the left for the JDAMs. Let's come over to the left here. Click on JDAM display. Go to release type and hit manual. And then click mission. We're going to fill out all the TOO ones and then fill out all the TOO twos. And then what we're going to do is drop all the TOO twos, switch over to the TOO ones, and then drop those. So we'll show that exactly how to do that right now. Going into the targeting pod, it is our soy, our sensor of interest. And let's go ahead and start marking these targets here. We'll click on IR to go into IR mode. Scene track mode with sensor select right short. And TDC depress to transfer our target information over to our first bomb here. Click on step. And we need to fill out all of these bad boys here. Just don't mind that cloud there. Click on step. TDC depress. Step. And we are masked now, so we'll turn back around. No helmet mounted display, so we'd have no indication of where it's at. That's okay. You hear any weird noises? That's my Roomba going off. My Roomba's trying to clean my computer chair right now, so apologies for that. All right, barometric altitude hold. There's the target area over here to the left, and we need to get this last target, which is the Strella, which is the one that took out our friendly here. So TDC depress. All right, this is where it gets a little complicated, but it's not that complicated. We need to go to our next target, which is this one right here. And we're gonna click on TOO2. You can see there's no coordinates there. TDC depress. Find our next target. Step. TOO2. TDC depress. Next target. Step. TOO2. It's important you click on TOO2. All right, we step to the next one here. And TO2. And boom. So now we have eight coordinates all set up in eight JDAMs. We're going to click on return, quantity, station two, three, seven, and eight. And then we're going to click on mission. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come around, we're going to drop four JDAMs with TO2 selected on all of our JDAMs. And then we're going to select TO1 and step to each one. Make sure they're all selected on TO1. And then drop all four JDAMs there. So that's a total of eight JDAMs. So here we go. Turning around. Again, Master Arms Armed, air to ground mode. JD2 is selected. Dropping on TO2 for the four, uh, first four uh, JDAMs. We're almost in range. We are in zone. Autopilot is on. Heading right for these targets. I'm going to click and hold the weapon release button. There goes four bombs. So here we go. TO1, step, TO1, step, TO1, step, TO1. And just to show, you can just click on return. And all the stations are still selected, so you don't need to do anything else. Hold the weapon release button. And there goes four more. So we have a total of eight JDAMs away. So four on TOO two targets, and then four on TOO one targets. And that should take out all those targets there. I do have another example that I have that I use, or where I use mark points. And I'll make sure I uh, put that in the description below or up here on the clicky clicky on the top right. So if you wanna use mark points instead, or you can do it this method right here. So it's up to you, whichever one you choose. Let's just zoom out here and we'll watch the show. One, two, three, four, baby. Look at that. I'm looking for the other ones. 
those were our T001 targets, which are the, the last bombs that we dropped. But we dropped those a lot closer. So they hit first. And there's the other four. So look at that. Eight splashes in one pass. Look at that, baby. I know it's been a while since I put out a video. I really appreciate your support and sticking in there with me. If you like the video, make sure you give it a like and also share with your friends and join the Discord. See you on the next video.